I have to seriously hide this eyebrow today because <laughs> it won't go down. Like, relaxed? This is this eyebrow. <laughs> All right, I have no idea what happened, but my whole computer just uh, <clears throat> lost it. So I just lost the intro of the last part, but that's okay because I remember everything. Okay, so we're on dark four, dark four. We're on dark room episode four and we're just picking up right where we left off. I think it should put us right there as well, as long as it saved everything. <laughs> I gotta, oh yeah, it did, okay. It is time to build the new PC, y'all, because this one is hanging on by a thread. Today's flavor is Dream Float, which I do. I love orange chicles, but for some reason, in an energy drink form, it's God, not doing it for me. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. The families might be on the beach with them. Oh, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. <laughs> Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no mm. way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. Aww. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. No dicking around. All right, so we probably will have to rewind, though. I think it's going to be like the situation where we broke into his van last time. I'll probably send something like that. I feel like everything is going to be really fast paced here on out. Like we're finishing up episode four, but I feel like this is towards the tail end of it. So we're probably finishing at this part. And then... Oh, I do want to read that. I read this one. Yeah. All right, let's do this last one. I think I was caught up all the way over here. Um, I'm getting preemptively sad that it's coming to an end. I don't know that there's other ones, but I told you guys I'm not going to be diving straight into the other ones. So I'm getting that. It's the same reason why sometimes I won't even finish books, you guys. There's a lot of times I just don't want the story to end. And I know that that's unrealistic and things end and that's life and that's games and that's art and entertainment. But I just, I get so emotionally attached to games. Okay, so we have squirrels. That's episode one. What am I doing? There we go. All right, so we still have a couple things we could take a picture of. I think we can take a picture of the whales here. Um, and maybe footprints in the sand, perhaps, as well. All right, let's start out by reading this. Speaking of cold stuff, Nathan's room was layered in creepy shit. The disturbing but impressive photos, all the evidence from his father's bullying, and probably the most important clue we could ever find, Nathan's phone likely loaded with messages and mysteries. It's not a good thing that I've internalized spying and stealing so casually over the past week. Everyday hero, am I right? <laughs> and that's when Nathan Prescott showed up. He looked so wild-eyed and out of control that I felt a twinge of sympathy that he clearly needed help. But then I remembered he was also an asshole and had been extremely dangerous to me, Chloe, and Kate. So before I had to rewind, Warren entered the scene and my white knight headbutted Nathan in the perfect payback. That was actually one of my top five favorite scenes from this game. I couldn't believe it. Neither could Nathan. 
In fact, Warren literally started to go ape all over Nathan's face. It wasn't cool, but my nerves were so frayed from the week that I was so tired all the Blackwell, I was so tired of all the Blackwell bullies that I almost didn't want to stop Warren from beating Nathan into the floor. Warren has his own issues to work out with Nathan, but this wasn't the time or place. Even if Nathan doesn't deserve, or even if Nathan deserved it, I wouldn't have been happy to watch Warren show him who was a Blackwell boss now. You know, I didn't talk about that, but, or maybe I briefly mentioned it, but I think in Nathan's case, there's always a bigger bully or like a bigger fish, right? And so I think in this case, like he, and based on the information we read on his computer about his sister saying it, like we can clearly tell that his father in a way is the larger bully to him. The whole like bullies breed other bullies. Not that it makes it right by any means, but. All right, this is showing a star next to somebody, but we've already read everybody's file. Oh no, it's this one. Okay, never mind. This was the star. Gotcha. All right, we should be good now. No? Why is it still showing us a star for right here? Huh. It's so strange. I guess maybe our objective. I should check on Frank's RV with Chloe. That's probably just showing us the objective. How long has this car been here? And also, I need to know what so the consequences- now we have to see Frank all the way out here. I need to know the consequences of us writing the I'm so dirty from the beginning. Because it said that it would be remembered or there would be consequences for the actions of writing that. Hmm. And for the record, if Chloe so badly wanted a gun for Frank, why did we leave the gun and let Nathan take his gun back? I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. That's fair. I thought it was kind of funny. I thought it was kind of funny. There's a flyer. This all goes back as well to whatever. Frank has Sheriff Scott or, um, David's gun. Who knows where Nathan got the gun? But at the end of the day, obviously not every single gun is registered, unfortunately, but if it is registered and we know that David probably does have registered weapons, it's going to show up as him if anything happens with the gun that Frank has. There might not be any pan estates by Saturday. Thanks to the local industry, the shores of Arcadia Bay are now unfit for fish, birds, or even whales. It's time to stop the Pan Estates development that is leading to the destruction of jobs, lives, and resources. Join the peaceful protest at the Pan Estate headquarters. Media and families welcome. Noon, Saturday, October 12th. Yeah, that's the day after. Mm, it looks so ominous. Guys, I want to do another playthrough of Oxenfree. Is it Oxenfree? Am I thinking of the right thing? Yeah. I don't think I can go around this or walk there. Oh, yes, I can. Look at it. No worries, sign. <laughs> no parking on the beach. That is just insane. I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. Hmm. So we already looked at it once. I wonder if we'll be able to actually go out on the beach to take the picture. Or, oh, here's our photo. Never mind. Ask and you shall receive. Another one bites the dust. All right, so windmill, I think we missed out on the skater. He was a skater, boy. I may not know quantum speak. Okay, same. There has to be an explanation. Okay, we can stop looking at the dead whales now. Sorry, y'all. I'm blows sorry. It my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Yeah. I wasn't even Could thinking about no that. actual cops around to bust us. Mm, all right, so it won't let us, I don't think it'll let us go around this way. Nope, I don't want okay. to go there. I was just about to be like, I stand corrected, Never mind. All right, so let's do the RV. I feel like this is gonna be the exact end of the Behold, episode and I could have just beer garden. gone a little longer last time. Hmm, garbage. Take the trash out sometime, dude. He just parks this RV all over the place. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets, gets drunk. Okay, but that's kind of a cool chair. We can all admit, right? 
Oh, the dog's not oh, there. Fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Yes, I was not one of the people that got the dog killed, y'all. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. How do we know he's not even here? Okay, let's do it. I feel like the dog would be barking by now. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, we would have no brought way. him money had we stolen Then that why stuff. did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Lady balls. Just say balls. Why do you got... Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like oh. Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? I mean, if you're offering. You already did. <laughs> you don't get it. I'm sorry. Help or else. I kind of want to say you already did, but I don't think sassiness is exactly the best method here. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. Mm. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time Honestly. for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, <sighs> we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Say this is oh, about yeah, Rachel. Oh, yeah, didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. Oh, no. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. Hey. I, I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. That's a good Please. point. It's not okay. like he wasn't being we're aggressive. Cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. Oh. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Oh, wait. Trained to kill, gave a <laughs> gave dog a bone. Dog rescue? Dog rescue. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't mm. stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompidou. Pompidou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Why didn't yes, we lead with that? We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. Mm. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Why don't you just help us? And also, they're saying they're so close to finding her. <laughs> I've been here the whole time, and I'm not any closer. I guess it's the game intentionally leaving out more information than we actually know, even though we're playing as Max. It's just we all keep saying that we're so close to finding it. I'm sitting here trying to think how the entire game is going to unfold in the length of one episode. What are you hiding? Rachel's letter, Rachel's photo, bracelet. Hmm. Rachel's letter, Rachel's photo, bracelet. Rachel's letter. Listen, I read Rachel's letter. I know how much she cares about you. You read that letter? Huh? 
The one in my RV? Oh. Are you fucking insane? Okay, run it you back. You read my private letter? Run it back, run Man, it back. there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. I you don't, don't trust you time, at all. Rachel needs you. I don't know it's if you can mess this she's up. She's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Okay, Chloe. Whoa. Get off of me. Chloe. Oh. Oh. Shit. I need to rewind and do something fast. Yeah, okay, so not the right decision at all. Don't bring up the letter. But we still need to bring up Chloe. Also, we should not rely on using this multiple times. Rewind faster. I I thought about that too. I was like, if I mentioned something about us sneaking in the RV. Wait, that we went back that far? Okay, I genuinely did not mean to go back the entire conversation. Listen, Damn it. Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Oh. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So mm. tell me exactly what I need to do here. Okay. Watch your mouth. Be careful. Um, I would say be careful. I think I need to watch my mouth. She needs to be careful. Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. Because grabbing the gun was the we right thing to do there. Help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally, I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? It's always so <laughs> aggressive with her. That just went zero to a hundred, and I felt like it was so forced. It didn't oh, feel look, genuine. Oh, no wonder twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Okay, we should we should be able to have. Wait. There we go. Close the door. No weapons. No fight. Close the door. Hmm. I would say close the door because the dog went to go bite her leg. Chloe was going to be able to possibly disarm him, but even if he still has the gun, even if they start to, I would, I don't, I want to say no weapon, but I, I still think that the dog could attack if something happened anyway. So I guess the bulk of it is no fighting, but I'm going to go no weapons. <sighs> Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons involved. Could you... Put your knife or whatever in the RV until we're done talking. After you pulled a fucking gun on me, oh. you want to negotiate my safety? I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. Uh. I hate you, Blackwell shits. You act like you own this town, like I'm your puppet. Nobody owns me. You understand that? Calm down. Please. So interesting. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Uh, okay, it's happening again. I gotta rewind again. Whoa. No. Okay, me. time to rewind again. All right, rewind. All right. Let's do... Close the door. How was I to know? Ugh. This is such a frustrating scene. It just doesn't feel like it makes sense. It really doesn't. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact. This doesn't end well. All right. Uh, be careful. Let's keep with be careful. You know and then let's ask him to close the door this time. That's got to be it, right? Close the door. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Why would he do that, though? Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. That figures. He actually does it? See, that doesn't make any more sense than him not wanting to put his weapon away to me. Uh, but I did like watching him lock that with his keys. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Mm. Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you? All right, so fast forward. You don't get it, help or else. Okay, let's stick with the I'm sorry route. I feel like that gave him an understanding and he understood the severity of the situation and what we're asking. Listen. F yeah, yeah, everything's. All right, There's fast no forward. For yeah, yeah, well... Okay, this is about oh, Rachel. Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. No deal. This Frank. happens. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. I... 
I am so sorry, but might be the dumbest thing I Finally, ever did. I, 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 dude, she was scared. All right, you pulled your. True. Hey, we're cool for now. My dog. But my dog isn't. And if you try any okay, shit, okay, here we go. He will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. Ask about the bracelet. With your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have. Dog rescue gave the dog a bone. Pompadou is cute. I don't know. I feel like the dog rescue was a good part to kind of let him know that we know or we think he's a good person, you know, like inflate the ego a little bit. But he also did genuinely do something good. Trained to kill, but maybe he'd like to hear that Pompadou's cute. I'm sticking with the original. No. That's All very right. cool, Frank. So your dog's Maybe lucky. We can focus on rescuing Rachel now. Rachel. Rachel. Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're yes. so close to finding her now. Let's Frank. ask about the bracelet. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel. What are you hiding? Bracelet. What are you hiding? Bracelet. Not Rachel photo or letter. Letter was the wrong idea. But I think uh, whatever we did, I think the first time you ask about it, the outcome is going to be wrong because uh, not necessary because if OK, never mind. If you choose a more passive question or like one that he doesn't get as insulted about, I'm sure you don't have to go back and close the door. You know, what are you hiding? Bracelet. Bracelet. You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more yeah. than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Man, there is something about you that... We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel. Rachel needs you. It's too late. She's gone. You don't even know... You don't even know her. Get down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell All right, this happens again. He's going to pull the gun. Whoa. She's going to try to stop it this oh. time. Get off of me. Motherfucker. Oh, his foot. Gosh. You actually shot me. I his knee? You. Oh, this fucking hurts. Oh, his oh, hurts. his quad. Me. You shot him. Oh, I God. Know. You're both fucking crazy. What do you want? We we just want the code for your account book. Now. Define whatever. Just just put the goddamn gun down. You already shot me, all right? There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just, just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance or? <sighs> yeah. No, or anything. Thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, what? what do you mean? Right. You're just gonna manage while you have a Let's bullet bounce. in your quadricep. Uh, also, it did not go through, so it is lodged still inside of him. That is not a clean exit wound, unless. Can Shit. I? This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. I need to go back and see if there's a different yes, outcome, you guys. You can change all this if you want. I need to go see. I need to. I can't. I don't want to stick with that, but I don't want to go back so far. I just need to go back to the decision. Ugh, I'd have to go back all the way to the beginning. It could go a lot worse, but maybe not asking about the bracelets better. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't want him to be stuck with a bullet in his leg, especially if it's. Yeah, I gotta go back. I gotta believe that I can end this in a non-violent way. But it's gonna make me go all the way back. Maybe that's the least violent option, as messed up as that is. Ugh. Okay. All right, we're going to run this through really quickly, you guys. Listen, Chloe, I can tell you for a fact that this mm. one... This is where my editor speeds it up right here. All right, so be careful. Be careful. We fast forward. Yep. We see him. We ask about him. I... Doesn't have the money yet. Close the door. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun. All right, he closes the door. Hey, there, you're Fast safe. forward. Now, what do you want? Just the name. Oh, that... All right, I'm so sorry. Listen. And then we ask about the dog. Yeah. There's no. Yeah, yeah, well. Come 
Come on, Frank, this is- Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No, no deal. deal. Frank, we didn't come here oh, to yeah. fight. I... F I... Dude, she... Mm, okay. She was scared. We're cool for now. But my dog, but my dog isn't. isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. He's We're done it before. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? His conversation is just so strange. Like, his fuse, it has to be the shortest fuse I've ever seen in my life. All right, so we answer no. like that. We fast forward. Maybe. And then we need Joel, to press X. Is that why you're really here? Yes. You and Chloe do not... Not know her like I know her. What are you hiding? What are you hiding, Frank? There we go. You should want to help us, not scare us away. Don't you accuse me of anything. You don't know me or who I am or what I can do. You understand? Huh? Man, there is something about you. Okay, it doesn't matter what you, you do. Much. It's too late. It's okay. It literally doesn't Dad. matter. That's the best outcome you're telling me? Chloe. You shot him. Holy cow. The only way to get out of this is to have Frank get shot for that? Aw. You believe I got shot by a couple of I know they paint him to be so bad and I get it. He's a drug dealer giving to probably underage people and then also all the 18 year olds in this high school. So no, he's not a perfect person whatsoever. But getting shot in the leg and not having anybody help you? That's awful. <laughs> all right, well, let's go forward. Leave the beach. I can't wait till I get on the same page as them and think that I also am about to solve everything with Rachel. Account numbers. Wait a minute. Okay, this is our board. Yeah, yeah. Our mystery board. He looks so different wearing a flannel holding Rachel. Chloe, are you okay? You shot. Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about shooting Frank in the leg. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. Mm. Okay, C account I numbers better though. focus on this board and start tying these clues together. The laptop. Okay, so I know for a fact David's clues, Frank's, okay, we're gonna actually piece it together. Where is, that's David's, where are Frank's? Like we need to be able to look at, here we go. Oh man. All right, after the dorm brawl, Chloe and I headed to the beach to deal with Frank and see if we could get him to join us. Unfortunately, Frank was not in a helping mood. He went ballistic and attacked Chloe. She injured him in the leg, which totally freaked me out. Even though I feel like I've been seeing Chloe get shot all week, all I could think about was, is this really happening? I'm outside of an RV in a fight with a drug dealer. <laughs> it's gotta be top 10 weirdest weeks for her. So our mission to bring Frank on board was impossible. Now he's even more pissed off at Chloe and me. Part of me thinks he's right, since we wounded him in the leg, but the other part of me thinks that Frank would be hurt at some point by somebody else. He should be lucky it was by us dorks. There would never be a part of me that would think that. That's so interesting. I'd never be like, oh, he would have gotten hurt by somebody, so it's better to be us than whoever's down the line. I hope his leg was okay, or is okay, and we don't end up with worse karma. This is not how I wanted our visit to go. And I don't want Chloe to beat herself up even more about what happened. She did defend me. Hmm. But we do have bigger Franks to fry, <laughs> or fuck up, onward. My life feels so surreal at this point. I don't know how to react anymore. I can rewind time and space, but... Is it aging me before my own time and space? Am I learning things I shouldn't? Messing up too much shit, including my own history? Obviously, my nosebleeds and dizzy spells are a bad sign that I'm overusing my powers, but it's almost become part of my nature. Or maybe a habit? Power corrupts? Not yet, I hope. I remember this famous episode of the Star Wars original Star Trek. Oh, I autofill Star Wars. The original Star Trek where Kirk has to go back in time and let the person he loves die, so the Nazis won't win the war. What kind of effed up choice is that? What, was that actually an episode? What would have happened if I had not been in the school bathroom to save Chloe that day? But damn it, 
I was there, and thus I was supposed to be there. Destiny. So things got a bit out of hand with Frank. But honestly, what else could I, we expect? He's not really your everyday hero type. And it was probably stupid of us to hope for a change. But hey, we had to confront him. We tried to persuade him. We're on the same side. But it was a waste of time. We eventually had to defend ourselves and hurt him in the leg. But despite the rage in his eyes, he somehow gave us what we were looking for. Which is really strange, honestly. He was on the verge of unleashing hell on us, but I think we're, we've avoided the worst. I just hope our paths won't cross again anytime soon. I don't think we'll be so lucky. I still don't know why Chloe or even Rachel would want to hang out with Frank, but I can't suss that out anymore. Maybe if I hadn't left town, I would be less judgmental. But I've definitely, I definitely don't see the good in him. Anyhow, we tried, right? And now we have Nathan's phone. David's coordinates, Frank's account book, and a big board of clues, which brings us closer to finding Rachel Amber. Finally. I'm trying to figure out the, like, are those birds? Like, are they little yellow birds? All right, what else do we have in this episode? Windmill, window with the moon, which I think we'll see. And maybe the footprints? Or maybe I already missed the footprints. Hmm. All right, let's suss out the board. Can we leave the room? Oh, we can't leave the room yet. Gather info on the character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there is a specific number of clues to select. Okay. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. So, it looks like there's two clues that we need to find here. So... Hmm. This was the account, right? Looks like this is not relevant oh. at all. Wait, what is that? Okay, let me look at them first. What is this? Frank is for sure the local dealer, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Yeah, I don't think so. So, what happened to Rachel after this? Uh, Rachel... She dumped Frank, she but... Did. I don't... Rot must stand mm. for Rottweiler. That just Chihuahua, Katie, Bobtail. Rotten. Miss Fancy Car. Who's Miss Fancy Car? Sheba is Nacho, Joseph, Mick, Stella, Simon, Logan, Steve, Nathan is Rottweiler. Stifler. There's a Stifler in this game. Justin, Chloe, Bruce, Johnny, Nicholas, Glenn, Tonk. Huh. All right, look at this. There's no doubt she loved him in Rachel. some way. It's got to be the account book. Let's look at the account book. Frank's account book. But the client, the client client names are encrypted. Okay, so we need to piece this together with this selection. Yes, Done. the game is on. The game is afoot. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. All right. He could open Boxer the store. Beach. Holy cow. $3,000 for something for the Bulldog Firebud mid-shelf button? Acid tab? An acid tab is $15? Why did I expect it to be so much more than that? Shrooms. I'm on true. Uh, Yorkshire Bobtail Bobtail. Pug Labrador. Okay, so we're looking for rot. Wait, there was a rot on this one. On September 30th. GHB? I don't know what that is. GHB? Do you select that, but look at this Everybody one? in Arcadia Bay must be high. Yeah, no that kidding. That explains a lot. All right, but I don't see rot on this one. I did see stray dog. I don't remember somebody being stray dog. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, Nothing. who am I to talk? Nothing on that one. I wonder what dog named Frank. Here we go. Me. Two G's of cocaine on the 7th of October. And two G's of Molly. And a fourth a pound of weed. Holy cow. How, where is he getting all of this stuff in the first place? I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Hmm. Golden Retriever. So there were two days that I think Nathan even purchased from him in the first place. Oh, crap. Hold on. I backed out. 
Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Yeah. Party supplies, no doubt. No, there's two and also on the 7th as well. So on the 30th, he purchased G something something dark side. Uh, the 4th, he purchased Firebud Speed Cocaine. Holy cow. And then he also purchased GHB again. All right, so then let's look at this. Okay, Max, remember mm. these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. There's somebody who's buying them with him, right? I think there's two names on this one. Rot and, oh no, Rot at the boondocks. Okay, so let's try selecting one we know that is an important one and putting it with this one. There's three things we have to select and this one. Oh, no. What? This is not working. Is it right here? If Nathan did drug Kate, <gasps> oh, no. he must have gotten the drugs from Okay, this is just Hold sad. on, it's down here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, there yes. we go. <laughs> These are all I the messed it up. And places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, Don't look at me like hit, that. Max. Okay. But I think there could be some other important people in there as well. But that's fine. We'll keep to just that. All right, so let's investigate David's Thanks stuff. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Three things. We're looking for three things. All right, what is this one again? David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. I was while. surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel she Amber. Been upset. Huh, Rachel? Wait, wait, I don't remember that one. I'm not certain I can believe her right now. I don't remember that at all. That was not the week of the party. That was when he was photographing us. This is the map. We need to get yeah. rid of these damn cameras, David. That was what he was doing for the Pan Estates, right? I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Okay, this has to be one of them. That's got to be one of them. Hmm. Maybe he was trying mm, to help. That Kate was the week of the party as well. His own messed up way. So then maybe the photos would be the final piece to that. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just? Paranoid about everybody. Looks like this isn't the right combination. Oh. Hmm. Deselect. We're looking for the week of the party. So if he's photographing her, that's the police report. Rachel's been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel met once again. Is that the actual week of the party, though? Because isn't the week of the party with Kate totally different? So I shouldn't select that. I should select this one. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Um, David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Okay, so hold on. Deselect all. It can't be this one. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Okay, maybe we should pick that one. If he, she at keeps talking David was about it. Finally, going after the right suspect. Yeah, she keeps talking about tailing David. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I guess I see a couple that match with Rachel. Hold on. Let's do the let's do Nathan's clues. Or maybe you have to do Nathan's clues last. I don't know. We'll see. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. We need four things. What could help me unlock this phone? Okay, let's do Nathan's first. There's a lot of numbers in here. GPA 3.7. GPA 3.7. This is a flyer. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. No, I doubt Did that's it. If there is a dark room, mm -hmm. we better find it. I don't like that one. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flat. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. All right, it's got to have something to but do with that. those numbers might be useful. Credit Couldn't card. hurt to give this pin code a whack. Mm, all right, so let's highlight this one as well. So we'll highlight that one, this one. Do I still have that one? Okay, let me deselect the flyer. I don't know why I had that selected. And then this is what? Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. This one doesn't really have dates on it. So I think these are the two that wouldn't be it. So we obviously have to select the phone because we need the pin to that. And I don't believe there's any numbers in this. Just really creepy thing. So select that. Okay, Max. Let's there blow this code up and go home. But the middle one, I still don't know with David. Okay. Investigate his stuff. Let's start hacking. 
<laughs> Let's start hacking. Unlock the phone. Okay, if I had to guess, I doubt it's gonna be... I doubt it's the card. There's no way that it's four ones. No possible way. Uh, I'm thinking it could be the last four of his cell phone. It could be... Let's try 1995. Yeah, date of birth. 1995. Oops. 19... Oh, it's so sensitive. 1990... Let me go the right way. There we go. 95. Oops. Bad no. code. Mm. Oh, maybe it needs to be a number that cola... Or... I know, I know, it says 9535. There's no way it's actually that. You think? 9535? 9535. 9535 doesn't appear on this piece of paper at all. But 7063 does. Is 7063... Yeah. 7063. It's not on that one either. Alright, let's try 9535. I doubt it's it, but... I wouldn't put anything past it now. Stop. Nine. It's so sensitive. Five, three, oh. Let me do the D-pad instead. Three, five. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Hmm. Mm. Three point seven is in red, as well as five four two. But, I mean, that would give you five numbers, so it can't be that either. Unless you round up the GPA to four. But now I'm thinking way too hard about it. Home phone. Cell phone. Let's try 1010 for the cell phone. Or wait, hold on. What are those numbers? 542. 542. Hmm. 542. What if it's one? What if it's four ones? Make sure to change it. <laughs> there is no way it would be four ones. Let's look at the phone. Oh. I don't know, y'all. City of birth parents. Huh. Continues his family's legacy. Maybe we do the last four of his parents' phone number. 7063. There's got to be an easier way to find out about this. 7063. You locked it, dumbass. How much time do I have to wait? Don oh, enter puck. Wait, okay. That's easier. That's so much easier. Okay, 87897808. 8789-7808. Eight seven eight nine seven eight oh eight eight seven eight nine Damn it. Ah eight seven eight nine seven eight zero 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 eight eight seven eight nine seven eight oh eight. All right. Eight seven eight nine seven 808. Oh yeah. Woo. Let's find out what Nathan Press. So I can find the long to... one. I just can't find the short one. Right. 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 But that was easy. Do you think it was one one one? It was one one one, wasn't it? I already know. I feel it. <laughs> I guess you could have rewind time as well if you wanted to. Well, maybe not. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What up? Need the G. Okay. Cool. Bitch, you sold me water. Asshole. What? Calm down. Bring it to me. Bringing it. Stay away. Pigs on the beach. Pigs on the yes. beach. Uh, this is oh. all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home? Got to party tonight. I hate that they can't just write tonight. It's literally like one more letter. Really, it's just one more letter. Home. On my way. Load the bowl. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. I need to score ASAP. He didn't have enough drugs. I don't make house calls. You have a car. 
No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No effing around. Give me the address. <gasps> I'll call to give you the exact directions. In transit, get the money Drug out. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? No. What do you need? Peruvian flake. ski Acid. And here I was thinking a ski was a jet ski. <laughs> You're playing night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff. You home? Don't come. F off. Damn. God, Nathan. You're out of control. Need we Calm yourself, you tweaking. Soon. Hook a brother up, please. Meet Beach. Be cool this time. So it was you. Yep. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. We knew it because it was a private number. Keep your mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Mm -hmm. Is this from Nathan's father? Please do not it's contact brutal. me at work. I've told you this before and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Damn. All right, but that didn't exactly give us the stellar information we needed, though. But I'll still take it. Hmm. All right, well then, with our final clues with David, we need the coordinates. The coordinates are 100% a part of this. Which, actually, let me look at this real quick. The cars! Of course! So select the cars. Yes, he was tracking all of the vehicles. Mm, what is this one again? Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. I don't think it's that Sorry. one. We get the party, so probably that piece of paper as well. And Damn. then this? I, I must have missed something. Wait, okay, let's deselect this one and select these. Nope. What? Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Maybe Nathan's pictures? And that's all she wrote. Yes, there we go. Oh yeah, because everything leads back to Nathan. Nathan in here. Mm, is Nathan's car the... Which one is Nathan? Oh. <laughs> what? You F up my dorm door. I kill your scholarship. Okay. Oh, we have a message from Kate. Uh, wait, wait. Wait, wait, I can't wait to see you. You're awesome. I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You already are a rebel, trust me. Always. And please, please be careful. Promise? Of course, I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Emoji. All right, let's solve David's clues and then let's get going. Great. Now, so coordinates. how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Mm. Of course, Nathan drives an SUV. It's kind of a banged up truck, at, if you ask me. Interesting. It's not Twilight this Zone. Hmm. It's this one. Who does this car belong to? It's that one, because look, when he's driving, you can see the bandages on the back side. So it's this one. And this one. And it is, what is it? it starts with an S. Hold on. Hmm. Nope, it's not Who that one. Who else was David tracking here? This one. Yep, it's that one. Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. But it's all surrounded by Nathan. If he has nothing Chloe, to do with it... Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, mm. Rachel. There's no way. Is it really Nathan this entire time? I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna just happy that we find her. Take a oh, breath, geez. Max. Go through all this data and you okay. can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Okay, so we're looking for where Nathan took Kate specifically. After the party. You need to remember the party date. 9-3. Okay, no, it was the 4th. It was definitely on the 4th, right? Yeah, the 7th was Tuesday. It was the 4th. Nope. Mm, that's on the 4th at 11 p.m. Could have gone to the boondocks. That was for the weed. Isn't this for some weird... I don't I don't know what that is. GHB? What is GHB? Yeah, if we're talking that date, I'm thinking it's that one. At 11 p.m. 
And that was the boondocks, so we need to match it to the picture of... That beach is like Frank's main office. Mm. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the... Mm -mm. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Not the gas. What? No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. Nope. Not much out there. Nope. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. They definitely didn't go there. They didn't go if whale. Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe... Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? No. What is the boondocks in this case? <laughs> no, they would have said, okay, hold on. They would have said beach had it been the beach. Oh no, this is where, oh wait, wait. let me see. Mm, that was at Blackwell. The day of the party would have been at the beach or at Blackwell. But I have no idea what is the boondocks. I know that's crazy. I don't know. I mean. That's the beach though. It wouldn't have been his estate. Oh man. Great balls of fire. Alright, let's go back up here. We're looking for... That's on the 7th. We're not looking for the 7th. We're looking for... Here we go. You home got a party tonight, 10-4 at 5-20. Okay, here we go. On the way. Okay, so he was on the way to pick it up at 5-30. So that's our piece of paper. Which actually means that I think one of these might be it. We're looking for 5-50. There we go. Wait. 5-40 p.m. Yeah, it's that one. All right, so it's that, that, and then we got to do the beach. I think that's it. Nope. Oh. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Okay. But it's got to be that paper. Well, that was the night of the party. Wait. Or that was before the party. We're looking for after the party. This is actually really cool. I love how they do this. It's not 9.30. Here we go. At 10.24. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Hey, I need to score ASAP. I don't make house calls. No time. Charge me double. Yep, this is it. That's it. I was doing the uh, before party stuff. Okay, so that means it is this one. It was the pickup at 11 p.m., which is that GHB, whatever the heck that is. So now we just need to plug and chug what I think a boondock is. <laughs> it's not Blackwell. Maybe boondocks is the gas station? If I can match nope. one of the text messages and transactions okay. with Frank, then I can find the exact location. Oh, I'm trying to find the exact location. Is that the junkyard? Is it their house? Max, there's no logical Sorry. link between those clues. Oh, maybe it's this. There, okay. What the heck? I'm gonna Chloe, look up. This is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clues here. I mean, it did look suspicious enough. The nope. other places weren't nothing, anything. Max. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. Exactly. Somebody could be there. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. The Prescott's. I'm on this. Hold on. Or Mr. Jefferson. Somebody named Harry Aaron oh. Prescott. I'm shocked. Mm -hmm. Should we call the police? No, we go explore. Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? Mm -hmm. That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We also have the gun now, too. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. Jeez. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But yeah. Remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Did that take me way too long to solve those hints? Yes. I'm not in a detective mode. It's the morning, okay? It's the morning. I also was stumped by a boondock. Apparently, I need to research that after. No trespassing. Well, it definitely looks like a creepy barn that a girl would be... Taken captive in, that's for Holy sure. Shit, this is scary. It's giving some know, But we're here. Jason Voorhees vibe. 
Is there a lock on the door? Whoa, check this out. Fresh, fresh tire tracks. Yeah. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. I don't know why, but every time I see the, like, in between where you can see through the slats, I kept thinking I was going to see, like, an eye pop over. I keep forgetting it's not a horror game. It's just a slight mystery. But it's not an actual horror game. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. You never know. What is that noise? Also, that's even creepier of a barn. All right, thanks for pulling me off, Nathan. Talk about going ape. Oh. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Are you done, Ward? He deserved a beatdown, but I don't want to stoop to his level. Besides, somebody is going to kick his ass sooner than later. You're wise, Grasshopper. Thanks, but I wasn't exactly the hero this town needs. You still paid your hero dues. Now, we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to the party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know, promise. Cool, now I have to calm myself down. <laughs> hmm. Hey, the windmill. That sound is the windmill. Yeah. Which we should be able to take a picture of. Oh no! Nice. I think that has the windmill in the background. Nice! Mm-hmm. Mmm. There is something so eerie about an old barn. That'll work. Giving like Texas Chloe, Chainsaw Massacre. I found the front door. Come on. Oh yes, Maximus rules. If Rachel is stuck somewhere God, this out here, is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on. Look at the surprise. pictures. There's a workbench. We should definitely look at the workbench. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Mm. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. The dark room. Harry the dark Aaron room. Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Hmm. When I think of dark room, isn't that? I thought that was a film. Isn't that what they call when you're developing films? Isn't yes, that called the dark room? Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Even mm. Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the tie. It's not bad. Lots of binders. But what would the fresh prints be from? Because this tractor is in the way of a truck coming through here. This tractor has paid its dues. Ring. A lot of things are paying their dues, apparently. All right, so let's look at the tire tracks from this side. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but there must be. There's a photo. Wow, sir. Talk oh. about home on the range. Wait, that actually looked like it was once nice in its heyday. Look, there were sheep, chickens, there were chickens, a dog. I mean, it looked nice in the old day. Oh, is this a light? There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Mm, I wouldn't put it past it. All right, let's see if we can go up to the top side. Milk cartons. Oh, that's so weird. I had a vibration when I walked over it. <gasps> Nothing here. Huh. That's so strange, though. I guess the game was trying to tell me- Wait, I felt it again. What the hell? Oh, there so could many be... haystacks, so few needles. Hmm. Scope out the perimeter, Max. Yeah. There has to be more here than this crate. There's a hidden. There's a hundred percent a hidden. Great. Yep. 
Okay, this is creepy. Whoa. What is this? It's totally brand new. That's Why? probably our dark room. Huh. Okay, we can use These it. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Yep, what did I say? All right, we have crates up here. Ah, oh, the good old days. Oh my gosh! Guys, eggs, 14 cents. Not $14, 14 cents. Bacon, 70 cents. Coffee, a dollar. Cocaine, two dollars. Good to know that for a dollar more, you can get cocaine. Skip the coffee, go straight to the cocaine. <laughs> okay, but still. I know, we see the padlock. I guess there isn't anything. I thought there was a whole second floor. It must have been the way that we saw that. Pitchfork, no, but there might be something to break the padlock. There might be. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. I don't think you have to worry about the zombie. I think it's just the monsters. All right, so I think if we use the padlock, then we can grab the hook maybe to break no, it. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. So, use this, hook it, okay, yep, Chloe, and pull I'm, it up. I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. S Let me know the second you need any help. I love how she was getting on Chloe for making so much noise. And now all of a sudden I'm like, oh, let's just break this open. All right. But real quick, we need to pull the lever. There is something on the second. Yeah, the platform. Chloe, mm -hmm. can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. The dark room. Hop, hop and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. I dig having minions. So weird up here. Okay. Here goes nothing. And all right. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. But I can't step on it. Oh, okay, you have to hit to climb up there first. Please be careful up there, Max. I'm surprised Chloe didn't want to do this herself. Oh, there was it. Creepy box. Oh, photo opportunity of the owl. Oh. He's like, who the fuck? Come on, man. I'm trying to sleep over here. Oh, maybe there maybe we will capture more. I actually think we will. Although I don't think I want to see what the footprints are going to end up being. Do not fall. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. Mm. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Wait a minute. It's got to be... I see the pulley over there. What does she mean I need to... This one? I need to... What does she mean by that? I need to look at the whole contraption. All right, so you have the pulley right there that's Please attached to it. There, Max. So I think I need the motor. What if I attached it to the motor? I need something heavier. Did I miss grabbing something before to be able to use on it? Hmm. I see that. Okay, let's look at the rope first. Here's the other end of the rope. Right. Okay, so if that's the other end of the rope... I need to attach it to something to pull it down. But... I think I have to go down and grab something else. Mm, yeah. We need to go back down. Hmm. But what is the question? Huh? Okay. Damn, lots of info here. But what am I missing? I saw the crate, the haystack? I'm trying to understand. Oh, okay, we did something wrong. Hold on, we did something wrong. 
Okay, the padlock's here. Yeah. We saw the padlock. We saw the rope. Hold on. They said that I needed to do something with the rope because it would tear my hands off. The rusty button. What am I missing? The tractor. The tracks. Is there something? Oh, wait, let's search this crate real quick. I guess the press cuts were just boring bastards. Oh, okay, wait, we didn't see this. Dearest Mr. Linden, I am writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you've chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest, plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end of the day on July 24th in the year of our Lord 1903, a warm autumn spring, rest assured we will make your life a living hell. Hmm. Jeez. All right, before I continue searching, hold on. I need to run to the bathroom real, real quick. Oh, it's the pliers. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be, well, maybe, I don't know. Damn, those pliers are fossilized. Mm, I never need mind. something strong to smash this padlock. Yeah, well, we already have that. Okay, real quick, before I do that, let me run to the bathroom. I'll be right back, hold on. All right, I'm back, let's go. All right, let's figure this whole thing out because I feel like I have the solution here and I'm overthinking this like always. So I'm going to start by going back to the scene of the crime or to the scene where I lost, last remembered what I was doing. Ooh. I also, in trying to start re-recording, accidentally, call. accidentally hit start stream. Everybody was about to get a last minute life is strange stream. All right, so let's come back up. So it does let you rewind time, and that's important for me to remember. But with me rewinding time, nothing changed. I just rewinded it down there. So if I'm trying to get it to... Okay, I still have the owl. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's, so let's just go to the rewind if I have that capability. Nothing. Oh, there's another rewind time? So I did something else that's important. Oh! The, the, the thing! Hold on, wait, wait, go, 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 go. Rewind further back. It must be, okay, wait. All right, so let's back out. Is it back up here? Yes. All right. So the old motor when in doubt, rewind it out and then it, it should appear. Okay. I, I forgot about that. It's like, I forgot I have the capability to reverse reverse. Uh, so I feel like we should kick it down now and it will just cause it to like, you know, Tell me if you need any help. should just allow it to. Easy day. Although, strikes again. if anybody's down there, they 100% heard that. I really don't like this, guys. Damn, this is heavy. Do they even have... What is this? Jackpot. That is so creepy. I would not be going Do I down there. Need to say how weird this is. I would say like one should go down. Dead. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course. I mean, unless maybe it's like a doomsday prepping kind of situation, you know, a little bunker. Never hurt nobody. I really feel like one person should stay up top just in case. Have a lookout. You can look at the padlock. Okay. What the hell? This bunker is so surreal. Yeah. Full security <sighs> door. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. The stuff that we were looking for, uh, looking through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's go back. Hold on. 
It had to have been... I love seeing the light shine through in video games. It's just cool seeing them do that. I think it might have been from this, perhaps? I this guess note? the press cuts were just boring bastards. 1903. I, it might be 1903. We see that date twice in the letter, so... In the year of our Lord. 1903. Alright, let's try it. I mean, there's got to be some dark shit down here. To have a padlock and a security now lock on top of- that's a serious door. Where's Gandalf when I need Wait, him? it's only three. And there's A's and B's. Oh no. Do we have some of the information? No. Three. Okay, hold on. We're looking for something with three. I should have checked that to start. Oh, Max, please. I think I'm making it more creepy than it actually is. It might not be I this. I guess the press cuts were just born bastards. It could be July. Oh, wait, no, it's just an A and a B. Mm. July 24th could be 724. 724? But maybe it was something over here. Like, is... I don't want to leave. There wasn't anything in there that she found. Or is there something upstairs that I missed out on? Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Harry Aaron Prescott. That's the only information we actually saw, right? Oh, there is one more photo. The barn. What year was this done? Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Hmm. Prescott. I probably already have the information and I'm overthinking it. Let's try I guess the press 724. Were just born bastards. 722. I don't know. I mean July 24th, July 22nd, so maybe 7. 723. 722 724. I'm going to drive myself insane. Maybe we can talk to Chloe before we type in. Now that's a no. serious door. Where's Gandalf when I need him? Maybe I need to do the wrong code and then reverse it. Uh -huh. All right, A and B is not an actual valid option, so let's try 722. And then 724, was it? <gasps> wrong code. 24? Oh, think, think. Mm -hmm. 1903. I don't know. 903? I guess I could just mess up one more time intentionally. Oh, no. It didn't work. Okay, so it's locked. See, so I have to go back. Interesting. Some numbers look faded, so oh. I just have to get lucky. Oh my gosh, I'm so goofy. <laughs> I'm my own worst enemy. Okay, yes, the numbers are faded. Okay. <laughs> Who? Don't. Guys. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm like this. Alright, faded numbers. I think 524. I need to redeem myself. You can do it, Max. 542. <laughs> yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. Redemption is mine! It still doesn't make up for the fact that I didn't pick that up in the first place, but... Open sesame. The white room that Kate talked about. Remember, she said it was like a doctor's area. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. Well, yeah, but this, this is... cost a fortune. Come on. I... We're gonna get locked in here. Although I could rewind time, but still. Up oh, to... Why do we... What the hell is this? Oh, we have more on that. Okay, we'll go back and read that later. Okay, the food makes sense. The water makes sense. More survivalist supplies. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of preparation, okay? Even when water there's a storm. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Hmm. Cans. Look at these cans. A lot of mushrooms. David must shop at the same store. 
Well, to be fair, it probably all came from a grocery store, so I think we all shop at the same store. To be fair, the duct tape? Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Oh my god. Oh, look at all this weird I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. It's not gonna let us interact with that photo. Oh, that son of a bitch. Howard Rourke Construction, Stormbreaker Bunker. Full estimate. What? Huh. Holy sh. Talk about tortured. It's so creepy. Like that's, it's even more terrifying that there's a lack of detail to it because of the game. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Dear Nathan, Principal Wells has informed me that you have been suspended due to some suspect Vortex Club activity on your part. Never mind that, I just want you to know what kind of shame you've once again brought on this family. I've given you everything you've ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy, among with other things we shall not mention, but nothing is ever enough for you. You're still my son, and I want us to fulfill our destiny. That day is coming sooner than you think. So prepare, so be prepared to step into the responsibility. This is my final warning, Prescott. You know, this is the exact type of bunker that could survive the tornado happening, or whatever the end of the world is. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all of this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can F it up with your teenage teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you. Oh, you're on or you're on your own. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. What the? What the hell? It was Nathan the whole time. It was. A spade is just a spade. Rachel. Come on. Let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Victoria, Kate, and Rachel. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Rachel. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. It's the only color in the entire <sighs> room. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning the dose search tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. Oh my gosh. This can't be real. These are all these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. You know what happened? She oh probably God. died from an overdose. Rachel, Kate, all these files. Kelly. This place actually feels evil. We have to finish looking through it before we leave. Holy cow, I didn't think it was actually going to be Nathan. Oh, that was yeah. too on the Apocalypse nose. Entertainment system. Yeah, she had to have OD'd from whatever he slipped into her drink that night. I've never seen And then he so buried the body because he had killed her. Before. What the f So who's using this fancy tripod? The father has to be in on it, right? And how are there so many women? Needles and drugs, yeah. Needles? What Kate talked about. Gross. Jeez.
And how does this all tie into the vortex or the tornado? Somebody hikes their whiskey. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Huh. Search continues for popular Blackwell student. Blackwell student saved from rooftop suicide. And Victoria is going to be next. Well, that explains. I was thinking they were like murder victims or murder files. And that explains why he still put Kate's name onto a file because he still got the photos he wanted. He just didn't get the outcome that he expected. Ashley, I, I mean, I guess all of the other names. I don't know. Tyra. There's so many names and most of which I don't even recognize. I guess it is the dark room. The fact that the only colored objects are the files and his creepy letterman jacket is just messed up. All right, let's go. He is way more dangerous than I ever expected. I was thinking way too like next level about this. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. What is his go to the junkyard? All right. Oh, we just fast travel to the junkyard straight away. Oh. Her body. there the whole time <laughs> Chloe <laughs> oh Chloe Rachel, I'm sorry Chloe I'm so sorry I loved her so much how can she be dead what kind of world does this I guess I think I was just hopefully hoping hopefully there's just hopeful wishes that she was still gonna be alive I knew she hadn't just run off I suspected she was probably dead but it still feels different when you find out the deer that was why the deer was there you think the dough was cl Oh, the dough was Rachel. We didn't even know Rachel, but she was such an integral part of this and for Chloe too. It's the, we have to save Victoria, which is rich considering yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, the point is we need to save her despite however she behaves like, but we have to put a stop to this. But he's not killing all of them, right? Rachel had to have been like an Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. Yes. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is going to get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Max is, like, weirdly smiling during this whole scene. I think it's just her, like, idle face, but... <sighs> Chloe, don't do something stupid, please. 
there's right ways to go about this and she's right they have all the proof like it doesn't matter how much i don't know i have to believe that it doesn't oh, shit this is like that eclipse you're right look at the is outline. it a blood moon i can't tell if they're different what is that, that? can't be too jesus chloe look up at the sky Possible. beautiful i don't give a shit the world is ending the world's cool. colliding you're not listening something major is going down that's right Nathan Prescott is going down. This is not the bigger picture. I I feel like they sh should have done something Welcome first. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Yeah, but for a lightweight. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well. I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. What? Come on, Max. <laughs> Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not Something to me still feels weird about him. Text soon. <sighs> <laughs> Something feels off about him still, but I mean, now that we know Nathan was the one all along, I mean... I guess everybody is exactly as they're displayed as. Like, they are who they are. There's no trickery to it. There's nothing secretive. It is what it is. Holy cow, this is a really long okay, episode. Chloe, where the hell are you? All right, real quick, though, we have a couple more things. Okay, skateboard. The moon. Maybe I could have taken a picture of the moon, or I can when I go past a window, for sure. And then the footprints. Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Plus, some Stella. of the Vortex Club always give me attitude. Uh, hi, Stella. Oh, no. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. <laughs> Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Nathan's creepy? What girl? What girl? She had blue hair, dressed oh, like a punk. Chloe. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. Chloe. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Oh, did she get paid? Who hired you? Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. Mr. Jefferson. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, mm. thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no. No, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. All right, curtain, okay. Let's do it. I love this song. What could go wrong? Drinking and a pool. This is not the recipe for a disaster whatsoever. Is this like the school sanctioned this too? Like, 
I like how half the people have their pool stuff, the other half are dressed like it's a party, like a normal party. Get it. Okay. We need to find him <laughs> and take him down. I like it. All right, glow sticks. Oh, God, move. Get out of the way. Get off of me. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's so nice to chat up another anime. Brooke. Oh, oh yes. he came. Hi, Daniel. Yes, Max makes an entrance. <laughs> I only came to the party because of you. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. I saw a dead body, everybody. Stop telling me my face is serious. I saw a dead body. I know, it's nothing. It's nothing? Um, it, it's nothing, it's just a uh, residue from all the Blackwell drama. It seems like it never ends, huh? This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale break. I'm taking no Brooke kidding. to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to oh, come that's along, cool. the more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. Adios. All right, Brooke, are you still mad at me? Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I could say I the same. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm Is not one guy not him, enough so for you? I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. Not the only one. Why are you here? So why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. Oh. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guide. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? That is a fair You're point. not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. She's on to me. Check to see if you can fly. Double moon. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Oh! What? No she went from hating me to is. wanting to plan a date? Is he hiding or something? Hmm. He's probably, we need to find Victoria. We find Victoria, we're gonna find him. Also, it's giving me Saw, get off of me. Get out of here. It's giving me Saw vibes with the circle. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. Courtney. There's Courtney drinking alone huh. without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. I just wish someone would kick Nathan's ass. Wait, what was that? Oh. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I would oh, can I rewind it? Can I talk I can warn oh, her? Incoming. I'm on it. I'm on it. Whoa. Nice. Another Hope save. My object angel is stuffed up every single time. Protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. <laughs> How many times have we saved her at this point now? Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. Really? You look pretty fucking intense. I get it. I'm intense, everybody. <laughs> I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes! Give it up to Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. Yeah. This club has no, or this party has no business being this fun. 
Vortex Club, Sean Prescott. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, mm. brother. Lou. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you for helping Kate. Keep it real. Peace out. Peace out. All right, next person. Oh, Bigfoot on otter action. Some things you really are okay going without seeing in your life. That is one of them. I'm surprised to see you here. Thank you. <laughs> What's next? I always warned you. Oh. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kind of are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by Robert Frost. Tell me now. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two oh, roads yeah. diverged in a wood, and I took the, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing. And thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. Yeah. But you're a great start, Max. Uh, that's kind of uncanny because I heard that quote just yesterday by somebody else. Which obviously, I get it's a really popular quote to begin with, but. Ah, uh, the no. wit of the Vortex Club. There is no way that the school is okay with this because they have to deal with all of this vandalism. Get it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm your name isn't on the list. Oh, the VIPs uh, only. I saw the story right Trust down. me, dude. You're not missing anything. Who's the bouncer? I'm oh. so not impressed by this VIP crap. The banner. Yes, you do suck. <laughs> only the Vortex Club would have a VIP part. I. I guess my name's not on it, though. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? All right, let's see if Excuse we can me, talk our I'm way going in. going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but okay. I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. Oh, so if we get Courtney, she'll let us through. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. All right, so we need to get Courtney to do it first. Or I could just walk in. Can I not just walk through and rewind like it didn't happen? Hey, Max. Oh, it's the bathroom. I was like, Supermax lives? Who drew the Supermax? And also, where is Chloe? That shit. Paper towels everywhere. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. <gasps> the photo, right? Isn't that the photo? If we find... Wait a minute. Yeah, if I... Well, there's Justin. If I get a skateboard, I think that's our photo, actually. If we talk to him. Yeah. Yo, Maximum Overdrive. About time you got here to save toilet. this lame rave. Want to get ripped? It's uh, total you look shaggy. Ripped already, Justin, and not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here, just not with me. I'm having too much fun with the music. Oh so yes, this party sucks. Aww. Rachel, Dana, Nathan, Nathan. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore tex club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. He's not wrong. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. 
And your voice sounds different. You okay? I saw a dead body. How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. <laughs> Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. I wonder where his board was. I know that's the graffiti that we're looking for. So we need to see him put his board next to it, I think. All right, what's going on over here? Exit the Vortex Club. Oh, oh, that's why there's a bunch of knocking. Yeah. Oh. Good night, oh. sweet prince. It do be like that. Yes. You Somebody's either having matter. sex or throwing up, or both. I was gonna say both at the Ugh. same time. <laughs> All right. How do we get that though? Poster. In. End of the world. All right, how do we get this? Maybe I can rewind with my conversation with Justin. Because I can't interact with the graffiti. Hold. Oh, wait, there was. I can. Oh, there it is. OK. I'm not in the mood, but yes, still. This could be an interesting shot. Oh, that's actually a really great shot. Are you kidding me? That's hilarious. And actually, I think that the marks nearly every single one. Oh. Wait, hold on, give it a second, it has to load. Yes, all right, I actually think that I'll find all but the first one, which drives me crazy. Maybe I had to catch the bird before it flew out the window when I, remember when I opened it at the beginning? Yeah, I probably had to do that. Okay, so let's get this VIP thing going. So we need to get Courtney to let us in. So if I help this girl out, she should have let us go through. Oh, okay, I can't rewind any further. So if I get Courtney to go take over for her, she should let us get the room. So therefore we need to talk to Courtney. Yes, now hey, we can talk Courtney. to her. How are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Mm. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. <laughs> she thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Some of them are nice, okay? Just... Hey, Sarah, um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So you, like, decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, Oh my god, you're done! And you're off the list permanently. Ooh! Welcome to the Vortex Club. I never thought Max would be on the list and this girl off. No! Oh, just ruined her entire, like, high school experience. Oh, sorry, guys. Ew. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Hayden, okay. Jeez. She's wasted and nobody is looking, looking out, out for her. her. Nobody. Hmm. Thank you so much for coming by, Max. You lifted my heart. Kate, I was... Never. Kate, I was so happy to see your smile again. It means so much to me and to so many others. I have to go, but I also wanted to say have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet, he brought by some school books I needed. Give him a hug for me. I will. Call me as soon as you can. Do we have any other messages, by the way? Okay. Mm. We have some more things to read, but we'll read at the yeah, end or at the start of the next one. Nice. A bomb. Of course. Give me a break. What's up, Hayden? Oh, uh, look. Up in the sky, it's Super Max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? <laughs> I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? These hotties? No thanks. No. I want to find Nathan. Me too. He's supposed to be bringing some... 
Special party favors. I hope at the party you actually planned a party at the party. Not this week. So has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or you could sit down and take a quick hit. Look at the light in her eyes. Victoria, we do need to ask about Victoria. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking ripped. Maybe you better take it easy tonight. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I, I am. finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Mm. Listen here. Yeah. Just watch out for Nathan to me. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're what? ready. What? <laughs> that's my job? All right, Taylor. Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting like too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. Victoria. What does Victoria say about that? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother sister or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in a vortex club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. <laughs> I want to learn things, make friends and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed. Why come? Why did you come tonight? I should have asked the other one. Don't laugh, but I had a weird vibe this might actually be the last Vortex Club party. End of the world, right? That's strange. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. I probably should have asked and the other one. give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. I feel like all of our decisions are finally coming back. Oh, sorry. To, like, help us in conversations. Oxygen kit? That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. The b they have their own barman. All right, what do they have here? Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. The barman. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their... I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Okay, there's Victoria, Should Dana, and Trevor. You dance worse oh, than my dad. All right, let's yes, talk to Dana okay. and Trevor first. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell Are other people outfit, even dressed up? I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. End of the world? How's the end of the world going? Great. This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. Mm. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. Not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich and rich and a dickhead, according to Nathan. <laughs> the Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Aww. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I feel like it would only be a matter of time before... It would only be a matter of time before Dana's Trevor name was on it, too. Goofy he dances in the VIP section. Yeah. All right, let's talk to them. Yeah. Talk to Logan first. Can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Uh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? What? Why? None of your business? Business with Nathan? Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. 
Don't you ever want to see you the best? You're so cute, and we never really talk. You're a dick. <laughs> You're such a dick. You bailed on Dana when she was pregnant. Yes. I continued you. I almost forgot about and that. Are you trying to mac on me? Are you proud of yourself? Bro, you are giving me the full body tackle. I already feel like an ass for flaking on Dana. How can I be an undick now? You could start by not trying to sex up every female in front of you. The rest is your choice. How do I well, be an undick? Bro. Oh, and don't ever touch Daniel DaCosta again. You will regret it. Now, excuse me. Damn. That was way more exciting than a day. All right, Max. Catch you later, Max. And it ended on a decent good note. All right, here we go. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. Ooh. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. This is gonna make it. It's so hard to save her. Like, she does not make it easy. Don't blame. I don't blame you, Victoria, but... You know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So... Why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean. Hateful. Yeah. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend. Oh, but she I was recording that. Attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. Mm. For what? I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. Doesn't mean you have to be an asshole the whole time. You have talent. You have talent, Victoria. I gotta be nice to her. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. I just don't My want- My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. <laughs> Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe. But I don't always make the best choices. Do you but think you it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Hmm. I wasn't expecting that kind of question. Do you think it's fate that we're not friends? I mean, I'm going to say we're not enemies. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. <laughs> Well, Max I should have turned the music off I for this part. I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's going to happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Why so serious? Oh, shit. Oh. The dark room. Don't warn her. If we warn her, she's not going to believe us, guys. As much as I... Would love for her to believe us just on, you know, some mutual respect. We don't have enough of that established. And she's been, like, uh, somebody said it earlier, there's a brother-sister relationship. She's going to take it poorly. But if we don't want her and something happens, then that's on us. Unless we could stop it later on. Like, I almost feel like it wouldn't be the worst idea for Chloe and I to, like, wait outside and see the moment where Nathan tries to take her. Like, obviously, we don't want her to get so drunk that she won't remember it or anything. I don't know. It's like, do you stop it before? Do you stop it right before? Because if we warn her right now, I just don't think she's going to believe us. Victoria, listen but to I me. But I have to. Your life is in serious danger. I should have taken pictures. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. I should have taken pictures. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. 
But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? I told y'all. That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. Yes. Please. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. I have your back. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. Yeah. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. Yes. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. Ooh. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my I... own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. I'm Our telling talk. you, it is truly a superpower to not care what other people think about you, especially in like high school, middle school, you know? Wait, how'd she get back in the VIP? Oh no, she's not. Yeah, wait, what? How'd she get? Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. Hmm. I'm glad. Let's I go check out her. the DJ. I hope she's okay. Juliet. So the Vortex Club like actually hired DJ Doom for the party. DJ that Doom. Son of a bitch is not here. Are we sure? Where are you, Nathan? Oh. I better get Chloe. Sorry. All right, I know where Chloe is. We saw her. F your selfie. Wait. What? Come on, I'm not just. Hey, I'm not gonna hurt you. Hey. I don't like what's happening there, but I don't think I can stop what's happening either. All right, Zachary and Juliet. Oh, I can only look at them. All right. Let's finish this. Well, now I understand how they fit so much into one there small you. segment. Chloe, Nathan or into one game. Here. Nobody has seen him tonight. Cause he's the definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Jefferson? Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, yeah. uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Um, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume I and know. portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I wish I had I to. So. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. I'm interested to see who wins, though. We're not gonna know. Oh, we will find out. Okay. 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 Everybody, calm down. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Do you it. think I, Nathan wins? I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner. Okay, I'm guessing it's gonna be Nathan. It's contest. gonna be Nathan. Before Myself. I, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. You are so hot. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. No, you. Yolo, please. What is it? And what did Keanu Reeves do? Nathan. Oh my, what a oh. shook. Victoria Chase. Really? Oh my God. Despite her threat thank you so much mr jefferson it was your incredible photography that brought me to blackwell and i hope i can live up to your name and fame 
I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Every Thank time you. I think she's Thank half. Victoria. Every time I think Victoria she's half won. decent. Big surprise. She does something else I can't that pisses me she off. Blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Not only did she threaten Mr. Jefferson. But on top of all of that, she also dedicated to Kate Marsh, even though she actively was responsible for all of the bullying and everything leading up to her attempted suicide. Not to mention a part of that issue on the party of getting oh, her drunk. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. I Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right what, now. Like, what? First of all, how does he know that they know? Mm, I don't think I ever saw. I should have looked for a window to take a picture of the moon. Why would you not, like, take pictures of the evidence? Like, I would at least take pictures of the body. I would have called the cops. I think that would have been the best idea. Stop stomping around, so Chloe. Just, why? Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. How did he even know they went to the junkyard? Either he's super paranoid right now all of the decisions i know with the cop thing i get that they have i get the prescott's have the cops kind of in their you know pocket but if you told the whole department like and you have proof right like you have your own photos of the proof if they tried to hide it you could just take it further up you know something okay sorry 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 yes, 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 yes. i'm just saying that i i really think that buying off the cops or not they could have totally turned God, this come on. an entirely different Nathan way. Needs to die now. Oh, okay. For God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Oh, foot. We need to look for foot footsteps. Look, look, look. Paint steps. Maybe this is my photo op. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, I hate this place. Are these not the footprints I'm looking for? These are not the footprints you're looking for. Mm. What are my what are my last pictures that I have to take? Oh, I missed the window probably, but the big Maybe footprints. Maybe we should have called the police. Yeah. Why do we have to do all of this stuff on our own? We had hard evidence, a dead body. We could have taken pictures of the whole bunker. I know we should go to where the body was. I need to stop looking around for feet. <laughs> Feet finders. Looking for something back there? Sorry. Sorry. Just for having a. I'm not saying take photos with the Polaroid, but on the foot. So creepy out here. I'm looking for feet. Rachel, I will get your revenge. I swear. Mm. Max, please hurry. I know, but he could be anywhere. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there? She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh. Don't back up, Max. Oh, no. 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 Chloe, look out.
What the hell? I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! Ah! I suspected him the whole time. <laughs> this is where I'm like, I knew it! What? So I can't rewind time, like Chloe's gone. There's no coming back from that, you guys. Like, I cannot go back and save her. But why, Mr. Jefferson? And why after everything, is Victoria in on it? Was Victoria in on it as well? Or is it Nathan and Mr. Jefferson? What is, is Chloe actually dead this entire time? There were so many times I've tried to save her life and in the end it didn't even matter. And how, Mr. No, Mr. Jefferson would have had Nathan's phone. Mr. Jefferson had Nathan's phone and he knew to drug me, but kill Chloe. What is his met? What is his reason? What is his? I need to know his motive. I don't know. I. I don't think we're going to be able to bring her back. Like my rewind powers don't have that capability unless maybe in the very end, I have a decision that can enable me to reverse like all the events from the past. What would Jefferson's reasoning be? It doesn't make sense. He's just a creep, but maybe he's the one in the, maybe it's part of his barn. Is he, does, is he a Prescott? Is he actually secretly a Prescott? It is kind of weird that there's so many photos of his work and everything. I don't know. Oh my. I'm kind of kicking myself. I think you guys have known since I told you guys I was kind of weirded out that he was even one of the people we could have pointed a finger at back in what, episode one or two? I'm telling you, ever since that moment, it made no sense for him to be one of our three options. And now it uh, it makes complete sense. I mean, I think the game wanted to give you like subtle hints of it, but all right, this was quite the long chapter, you guys. So I'm gonna do the recap real quick. There's a lot of things that I think have been in the last two videos, actually. And that leads me to, we saw him kill her. So how, what is he gonna do with us? Like, we know about Rachel's body. We know about Chloe's death. I mean, he's gonna kill us. There's no other way for him to get off scot-free, Jefferson free, without killing us. <sighs> okay. I'm refusing to believe that Chloe's dead. I mean, obviously I know she died, died, but maybe she can come back in some later point. All right, so we saved the Blue Jay with 40% of other people. We didn't disturb the bird's nest. 8% disturbed the bird's nest. You got David's flies in, other, in another way. Oh, files, not flies. Yeah, we got his in another. You found David's code. You've got David's files in another way. Oh. You could just find the code and instead I just decided to <laughs> break it. Okay. Kate helped you find Nathan's room. Yeah. You motivated Daniel to attend the Vortex Club. I love Daniel. You didn't leave a message on Warren's slate. Oh, I guess I didn't. I've been really good at leaving the messages, I guess up until that point. You didn't figure out Nathan's pin code. I did not figure it. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I wonder what that code was. Was it 1111? It was 1111, wasn't it? I helped Alyssa. You guys know I've been helping Alyssa the entire time. Doing it pretty consistently. All right, what else do we have? That's it. That's it. That's it. Ah, oh, shot through the head and Jefferson's to blame. Okay. Well, I don't, this game is truly bamboozling me and it is definitely stumping my, my, uh, I would say predictive analysis. Maybe I'm just off my game. I think this is such a hard game to predict. Like I want to believe that it's as easy as Nathan being to blame, but I don't think his involvement in this is as large as we think it is. I think he's just the person that's taking the fall. Clearly Jefferson has a bigger part in it, but to what extent? Is he the one taking the pictures? Is he working with Nathan on taking the pictures? Does he work with his dad? Is he possibly his brother? I don't know. 
I still feel like he is a Prescott though. I think Jefferson's name has been changed. Maybe when he went on to be an artist or something, I still am thinking that Jefferson could be a Prescott. All right, so polarized. So we're sitting them polarized. We're sitting here looking at them holding hands together while the storm's about to strike Arcadia, which makes me believe that Chloe will be coming back. She's not out of our lives for good. Maybe we'll get some superpower strength to reverse time even further. I don't know. I'm kind of kicking myself, but not, I'm not to being too hard on myself because I did think that Jefferson was suspicious. Although I think at this point, you guys have seen me point my finger at every single person in the game. <laughs> Truly, but all right, I'm gonna dive straight into episode five guys. Thank you so much for your time I wish I had more to comment on that episode. It was very There was a just a lot happening and I think I'm still digesting the information. I I just there's so many pieces to it and I'm trying to put this puzzle together But I still I guess I can tell you guys. I'm still suspicious of Warren Especially with this theme of nice guys, because we thought Jefferson was nice too. So I'm still suspicious of Warren. He was kind of weird pretending to be, well, I'm not saying pretending to be drunk, but he possibly could have been pretending to be drunk to maybe, maybe he's assisting. Jefferson's not working alone. So it's basically finding out who Jefferson is working with. And I don't know if it's another Prescott or if it's Warren. I'm still a little suspicious of who else? Nathan, uh, Nathan just seems unhinged. And I think they're taking that for granted, like possibly his dad and Mr. Jefferson, but I'm still suspicious of Warren and I'm gonna stick with that. Also, Madsen has not been in the picture for quite some time, so I think in episode five, we'll see him resurface as well. I'm kind of surprised he wasn't at the end of the world party. Maybe he was in the, maybe he was in the parking lot and we didn't notice him. Okay, I'm not gonna beat myself up for it. I'm not going to sit here and just keep trying to make sense of it. I will go ahead and get started on episode five. Guys, thank you so much for your time and for being here. And I will see y'all in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know if you guys guessed it was Jefferson from like right off the rip. Did you see it being him right away? Let me know. And yeah, I think this was my best episode as far as pictures too. So, you know, but anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye YouTube. like I'm like questioning something. Look at that. It's inquisitive. I just naturally look inquisitive all the time. Ah, uh, yes. One day this eyebrow will touch the top of my forehead. <laughs>